Hottest ocean ever recorded. Hottest ocean ever. Hottest ocean ever recorded. The world's oceans were the hottest ever recorded in 2022. Heat absorbed in the oceans? More than 90% of the excess heat trapped by greenhouse gas emissions. What does record says? The records, starting in 1958, show an inexorable rise in ocean temperature, with an acceleration in warming after 1990. Effect? Sea surface temperatures are a major influence on the world's weather. Hotter oceans help supercharge extreme weather, leading to more intense hurricanes and typhoons and more moisture in the air, which brings more intense rains and flooding. Warmer water also expands, pushing up sea levels and endangering coastal cities. What effect ocean temperature? The temperature of the oceans is far less affected by natural climate variability than the temperature of the atmosphere, making the oceans an undeniable indicator of global heating. Last year is expected to be the fourth or fifth hottest recorded for surface air temperatures. La Nina and El Nino effect. During 2022, we saw the third La Nina event in a row, which is the cooler phase of an irregular climate cycle centered on the Pacific that affects global weather patterns. When El Nino returns, global air temperatures will be boosted even higher. Ocean heat analysis. The Earth's energy and water cycles have been profoundly altered due to the emission of greenhouse gases by human activities, driving pervasive changes in Earth's climate system. We are getting more extreme weather because of the warming oceans and that has tremendous consequences all around the world. Warmer oceans mean there is more potential for bigger precipitation events, like we've seen this past year in Europe, Australia, and currently on the west coast of the US. This leads to greater and more rapid intensification of hurricanes, something we've also seen this past year, since the winds no longer churn up cold subsurface water that would otherwise dampen intensification. U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration research says Many extreme weather events in 2022 had been made more likely and more intense by the climate crisis, such as the heavy rain that caused devastating floods in Chad, Niger and Nigeria. How much ocean absorbs heat? The oceans absorbed about 10 zettajoules more heat in 2022 than in 2021, equivalent to every person on Earth running 40 hairdryers all day, every day. Role of salinity? Salinity, which along with temperature determines water density and is a vital driver of ocean circulation. An index of the variability in salinity across the oceans reached a record high in 2022, showing continued amplification of the global hydrological cycle. Stratification? Stratification, where the layering of water by density becomes stronger. This restricts the mixing of deeper, cooler and more nutrient-rich waters with surface waters. The long-term trend of increasing stratification continued in 2022. Consequence? Less mixing in the ocean means the surface layer absorbs less carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, increasing global warming. There are increasing occurrences of record-shattering heat waves and droughts in the Northern Hemisphere, consistent with intensive ocean warming in the mid-latitude Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. The heating of the oceans, and the impacts on extreme weather, will increase until humanity reaches net zero emissions. In October, the World Meteorological Organization reported that the atmospheric concentration of all the main greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide, had reached record highs. Changes in ocean heat content, OHC, salinity, and stratification provide critical indicators for changes in Earth's energy and water cycles. These cycles have been profoundly altered due to the emission of greenhouse gases and other anthropogenic substances by human activities, driving pervasive changes in Earth's climate system. The Salinity Contrast Index, a quantification of the salty gets saltier, fresh gets fresher pattern, also reached its highest level on record in 2022, implying continued amplification of the global hydrological cycle. Regional ocean heat content, OHC, and salinity changes in 2022 were dominated by a strong La Nina event. Global upper ocean stratification continued its increasing trend and was among the top seven in 2022. Among seven regions, four basins the North Pacific, North Atlantic, the Mediterranean Sea, and Southern Oceans saw their highest OHC since the 1950s. The regional OHC and salinity changes in 2022 were dominated by a strong La Nina event. During a prolonged La Nina event, such as the one witnessed most recently, the tropics cool overall and emit less thermal radiation to space, thereby increasing Earth's net energy imbalance and OHC. 
The La Nina condition 2022 was associated with a vertical heat redistribution meaning more heat in the subsurface and less heat in the near surface. Oceans contain an enormous amount of water, and compared to other substances, it takes a lot of heat to change the temperature of water. The new research suggests that the rise in heat contained within the upper roughly 1.25 miles of ocean water and increase driven by a massive amount of absorbed energy measured in units known as zettajoules represents the true pulse of climate change. The amount of added heat in 2022 is around 100 times larger than the total world electricity generation in 2021. 2022 to be the hottest year on record for the oceans, followed by 2021, 2020, 2019 and 2017. A multitude of consequences flow from the fast warming of the oceans. Some are analogous to what is happening in the atmosphere. For instance, with the average temperature of the entire ocean warmer, it increases the odds of extremes in the form of ocean heat waves in certain regions. Just like in the case of atmospheric heat waves over land, these can be very dangerous for living organisms. Some of the most productive and biodiverse marine ecosystems, like coral reefs and kelp forests, are very sensitive to temperature. Warm ocean water expands, raising sea levels around the globe. At the same time, this expanding surface warm water is lighter and more buoyant than colder deeper water, which means that, in the words of scientists, the ocean becomes more stratified. Warm and cold layers mix less, which in turn traps heat at the surface speeding the planet's warming while depriving the deeper ocean of oxygen and nutrients that cannot mix downward. The ocean also loses oxygen because warmer water cannot hold as much of it, potentially leading to low oxygen zones that are a threat to marine life. The ocean also grows more salty in many regions, as the evaporation of warmer water leaves behind more salt, but in other regions, it actually grows fresher as rainfall increases. The study calls it a salty gets saltier, fresh gets fresher pattern, as evaporation wins out in some regions and rainfall in others. In part, that is because more heat amounts to more moisture in the air, which can supercharge any storms that materialize. For every degree Fahrenheit that the air temperature increases, the atmosphere can hold about 4% more water. The simplest way to think of this is, let's assume the weather system and everything is going as it used to, but now we have a warmer ocean, he said. The atmosphere can hold more moisture. The warmer the atmosphere gets, the more moisture it can hold.